Two, one. Good evening. I'm Pat Sievert. I'm chairman of the Finance Committee. To my right is Mr. Rozelle. To my left is Mr. Phillips. We are here today for uh, three parcels or pieces of uh, legislation potentially uh, to purchase fuel items on the open market for calendar years 2023 through 2025, to advertise for bids, enter a contract for water meters and appurtenances at a cost not to exceed $297,000 per year for calendar years 2023 and 2025, and to provide a recommendation to council regarding amending the salary ordinance for various seasonal and part-time positions reflecting the new Ohio minimum wage. I think it's 10, 10 an hour now as of January 1st. Uh, I will, will turn it over to Mr. Titterton. Okay, I'll, I'll split split up those two <laughs> items. But they were, they were on two uh, committee reports, but they're three separate items, right? We have to do the fuel separate Right. Even bidding, though it was on yeah. the one so committee the, report. The fuel and the bidding is on one, is one item. Uh, the fuel we, we uh, always purchase on the spot market, but every year council authorizes us to be able to do that for the following year. So that's part A. Uh, part B of that memo was uh, our three-year contract for, a uh, three-year bid for water meters is uh, expiring at the end of the year. So we are asking for authorization to bid um, those meters um, for a period of uh, 2023 through 2025 at a, an annual cost not to exceed $297,000, which will be split between the water and sewer funds. I would note that um, water meters have a lead time of between six and nine months right now. Um, there has been a significant increase in cost associated with those, uh, but we do need to. Uh, we are we are of limited stock, um, and so we are asking for authorization so that we can can bid those out and be ready to go on January first. So we're handling that one first, then obviously. Okay. That, that's item number one, yes. Two, okay. but it'll be two separate resolutions, but we always handle them as one item. Mr. Rosell, any no, sir. input on that? Mr. Phillips, any questions or input on that? It, just a, a very a minor point of interest, uh, Mr. Titterington. In the water meters uh, that we're purchasing, are they commercial size, or are we just dealing with primarily residential with this item? Uh, the bulk of them are residential, but it's it's different sizes. Okay. No, really, that was all I didn't know if we stocked many of the larger items. Uh, we, no, we stock much, uh, much less of the larger ones. Oh, yes. Ones. I would assume so, yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other council members wish to comment on this piece of legislation? Anybody in the audience have any comments regarding this? Seeing none, Mr. Rizzo, what's your pleasure? Move forward. Mr. Phillips? Ms. Uh, move forward as staff is requesting. We would unanimously uh, request that uh, we move forward on that piece of and that legislation. And that does not require emergency legislation, so. Okay. And then the next one is regarding the uh, amendment to the salary ordinances to comply with current federal or state law. Sure. So the state of Ohio has a calculation it uses that pegs uh, minimum wage to the uh, CPI, I believe it's in the, in the month of August, year over year. Uh, this year it was approximately 8.6% higher than, uh, uh, than this year. And so the minimum wage that is set for January 1st is $10.10. .10. Uh, depending on the type of part-time hourly position that we have that is non-union, non um, we have multiple steps uh, for our general seasonal positions. We have 10 steps, 10 steps for, um, uh, I'm sorry, eight steps for swimming pool uh, management and uh, food services. Um, and so we try to keep a separation of 30 to 40 cents. And in, in the case of the 10 step seasonals, uh, we have 30 cents a piece. Um, and then we try to 
the the swimming pool manager position we try to start well we always start the first step at the ten, at this top step of the seasonal position in recognition for his or her uh, additional responsibilities so we are recommending um, approval and we are not asking for emergency legislation and step means an annual increment uh, it can be annual it could be periodic it's typically annual when they come back if you know if it's a seasonal position and they come back a uh, future year we we will recognize that Mr. Rizzo, any questions? Mr. Phillips? Yes, thank you. Uh, did we have any uh, issues this year with staffing uh, any of our part-time or seasonal positions? Were we short-handed for any reason? Not, not, <laughs> not, with regard, not with regard to the uh, part-time uh, positions. Anything, uh, not any more unusual or than, than, a, than a usual year, I guess. Um, you know, we always have recruitment issues. Uh, because we have the 10 steps, we we're able to, to adjust where necessary if we did have some gaps. Uh, there are some, t uh, a lot of our positions we hire through Staff Mark, a temporary staffing agency, so they don't fall within this schedule, um, but they're very similar in rates. Well, the reason I asked that question is just wondering, and I understand the competition, uh, but uh, if we were severely understaffed uh, and, and whether finances were a motivating factor in any of that, if there's any way to know that. Um, well, we, we do talk to uh, staff, Mark, and of course our, uh, our managers are always talking to us about any challenges that they're having. Again, if we find that we're not being competitive, we've found that within the step range, we, we can have the flexibility to match what might be out of the market. Um, if it does become an issue, we will come back to the council. I would though um, caution that these are the minimum wage uh, positions. So anything we do at the minimum wage I guess has a domino effect. Sure. Um, but certainly we, we do need these employees. They do give us the flexibility during the high season, typically the summer, spring and summer. Right, okay, thank you. That's all I have, thank you. Anything else? Anybody on council have anything regarding this legislation? Anyone in the audience? Seeing none, Mr. Rizzo, how do you wish to proceed? I forward as recommended. Mr. Phillips? It's the same, move forward as staff is recommending. We would unanimously recommend that we move forward with this legislation. Anything else before this committee? No, sir. Committee is closed.